Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Summerada.com, and this is the preview tutorial for the Bubble Overlay Action Collection. So here is the first image I'm going to edit in Photoshop. And the first thing I'm going to do is open my Bubble Overlay Action Collection and select Apply a Bubble Overlay. So I'm going to press play, and you're going to have to search your computer for the folder where your bubbles are. Once you have done that, then you can press uh, place. Then you either select the link up here or hold down the shift key on your keyboard and drag the corners. Press the check mark and press continue. Now you can either uh, use a soft black paintbrush and paint in your soft uh, white layer mask and just erase it off your subject. Another thing you can do is you can completely move a bubble by using the clone tool and selecting your bubble overlay. Hold alt on your keyboard and then just place the bubble wherever you'd like. Uh, if you don't like part of the, some of the bubble, you can go use your black paintbrush and just erase it off wherever you like. you go and you can also uh, resize and rotate your bubbles however you see fit and you can also combine bubbles let's say you wanted a few more bubbles press place let's say you want a ton more bubbles or can just simply add more wherever you like. You can also adjust the opacity of each bubble layer. And you can also edit your bubbles. You can darken them. Uh, you can also darken your background. I'll show you that um, on another image. You can brighten your bubbles or darken your bubbles. All you have to make sure is you're selecting the actual uh, layer and not the layer mask. So press play, and it'll just darken them for you or brighten whichever you choose. You can also add more color. Uh, some of the bubbles have a lot of color. You can see here there's a lot of colors. And it'll brighten them for you. You can also desaturate your bubbles completely so there's no color. Depends on your image and the feel that you're trying to go for. You can also blur your bubbles. Uh, and you can paint on blur. Again, use a soft white paintbrush. And then you can just paint over the areas you want to be blurry. And I think that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go over into Photoshop Elements. I'm going to do the same thing here. Press play. Select some bubbles. Press place. Again, hold down the shift key on your keyboard or select uh, constraint proportions here. Press the check mark down here. Press continue. If you want to use uh, if you want to erase any off your subject, just make sure you go to brush settings and make sure it's that uh, soft and it's a black paintbrush. And you can go ahead and erase it wherever you need to. I like to kind of leave some of the bubbles on your subject just so it looks more realistic. And you can also rotate, flip. Um, this one I'm going to show you how you can also darken your background or brush on dark in your background. I'm just going to press um, select your actual overlay and press play. And here you're going to choose a soft white paintbrush. And here you can just kind of darken the background where you want the bubbles to pop a little more. Or anywhere on your image. You can also adjust the opacity so that you can have different variations on your entire image. 
and this is just a quick example. That way it just helps them pop a little more. You can also brighten bubbles, darken, uh, add more color. And you can also adjust the opacity here of each layer. You can also paint on glare or whatever you need. That is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.